Four-phase LFO has five waveforms. These are the basic building blocks available for extreme transformation by a large set of precise controls. Three oscillation types can be used depending on what is needed the very useful sync to tempo mode, then a non-linear mode ideal for those extra slow LFOs, and finally a linear all-purpose mode ranging from 1 to 128 hertz. This very useful function provides a way of choosing where exactly the oscillator cycle should start and in what direction it should go. This parameter is also available for each of the three other copies of the main LFO. The reset button that can be controlled via a CV input on the back panel or by automation is very useful for synchronizing multiple LFOs. The symmetry function provides a way of controlling on what side of the central axis the wave will spend the most time. The function used to create the waveform can be modulated between exponential, linear and logarithmic. With shuffle it is possible inside a two-cycle frame to modulate the proportion of this frame used by each of the two LFO phases. At 50%, phase 1 lasts half a cycle and phase 2 one and a half cycles. At 100%, phase 2 lasts two cycles. The bias function is used to move the central axis up and down. Three hold types are available for creating a wide range of complex rhythmic waveforms.
The slide modulation can work on its own or be the perfect companion for the hold function. Noise can be added to the LFO, creating a cloud of values around the main one. The LFO rate can be controlled by a MIDI keyboard. The key played overrides the rate setting until it is released. Four sets of outputs are available based on the same LFO. They each have their own level, offset and bias rotaries. 